That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should just go on to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like... I guessed it well when I've seen 70% of the game. I guess, like, the last 30% is gonna be with John and for sure it's gonna be with John. Honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral yeah, code. I just guessed it. I just guessed it because of percentage, you know, of the story. Nothing else. And I've seen Arthur's gonna die on chapter 6. So it's not a surprise at all. What surprises me is that Micah is alive. Dutch didn't shut him. I expected Dutch to shut Micah. Oh, for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero. But they're all fucking snakes. What do you know about heroes and books? <sighs> My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. What a way to see the country. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence. On your mother. Now we, we play Red Dead Redemption 1. Hey. Which books was that? You know that dime novel. Strober. What the fuck? Where exactly did Arthur die? I would visit the spot where he died. The men from the moon I'll need to figure out the location. I'll do my best to find better reading material on. That what you like then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur, and there's Sir Lancelot, and the Lady Guinevere, and a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. <laughs> Those <laughs> names. So do I. did strawberry change what shit will happen now why don't you pull up just here I'm gonna go see what kind of good honest work I can find Great. good honest work for you Washing some rich fellas boots or some such me too see if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something good honest work in you You gotta be fucking you, kidding. Son. I'm hoping I can help you. <sighs> to help one inside outside? Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah. 
my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past and Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Well, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Doctors to meet with Abigail. Fucking strawberry. Man, it feels weird playing with John now. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. <laughs> Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Well, yeah, thanks for the follow. It really feels weird playing with, with John now. I got That's used to it too. And he is a better character overall. Yes, a ranch. I never was there before. West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. We get to visit Blackwater. Oh, we can visit Blackwater now with John. Imagine. I can't wait to see the city. Wonder what happened with the money they stashed. I bloody hate driving these wheels. I always hated it. about all the money Arthur gave you? He gave a lot of money to Abigail too. How come you're without money?
Mr. Geddes? No, sir. A Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. John has everything? a pinky blinder here. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> you come back here. Whenever you become a pussy, you got damn it. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Bailey, Dickens. Girl, Bailey, thanks for the follow. Uh, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. I will not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Chapter 7, eh? Ah, oh, it's epilogue. Ah, chapter 7, epilogue, whatever. <sighs> Really, the fisherman remains. What a fuck. Mm. 
11 bucks. No weapons. Bloody hell. Let's see the percentage now. Seventy one point six. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. John, Jim. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. From John Jim. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say. John. Is that your family getting in? John, John the wagon up there? Oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? Th that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. Sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey. are gonna milk the cows? Sure. Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... In the game I'm fucking starts, are we gonna milk cows? There's Assassin's when Creed when you wanna milk cows. Them hired guns? They're milking it. I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. No. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. You gotta be shitting me. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. 
You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Are you fucking shitting me? Almost got a pail full. Hey, Paul. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. That's enough, Jim. We all Come gotta on. earn our keep. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Boy, we're gonna clean shit sure. now. Come on, son. After all of that gunslinging, train rubbing, and all of the bullshit that happened in the previous hour or so, now we're gonna milk cows and clean shit. Like it? I got, I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said. I know what he said. We'll do it, won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Unreal. Unreal. Clean shit, John. Clean shit. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Uh -huh. Hold on. Look at this horse shit. That stinks. Uh, to be honest, if you want to clean it, you do it with a shovel, not with a bloody pitchfork. From gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. I reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. some coffee on. <laughs> Three 
bucks. I'll fucking kill myself. What is this? Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Geddes. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Geddes, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh, well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. You need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, horse. yes. Yes, I Whoa, do. None of that. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. You done? Come on. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh. <sighs> Calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay, I'll wait in the corral. Tired old Jeremiah. Good boy. Good with his stamina. You got some energy? Show me then. It's a fast fucking horse. Let it all out of you. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. Come on, let's go. Give us no trouble now.
All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. Hey, easy you just there. Worry about Jeremiah. It's there. Easy there. Hey, yeah, but, easy there. But just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. Well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. <laughs> Got him. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Oh, I lost it. It's coming out one way or another. <laughs> Grab them again. Grab them. It's happening. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? <laughs> I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Shit. Will you tell Abigail what happened? Hey. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? 
been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Up a mic. Okay. Whoa. Even faster. Come on. Faster? We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. What's happening? Help. Easy there. Easy there. Whoa. Jack. Jack! You okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. That's how you train children. They need to drop. Right. From the start. Let's go again. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Yep. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Ah. and a little confidence can do. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Behind you. 
won't be in front for long. Pride comes before a fall. A big fall. Hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. Don't get cocky, boy. This horse can go. I beat you! I beat you! I well beat... Well ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Just throw a link photo away. <laughs> place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Three bucks again. How far is this now? Close by. When will this wrenching bullshit stop? Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Don't dawdle. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. What on earth am I doing? That's it. Okay. Fine. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. 
You're fucking kidding me. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, <laughs> this is Jim Milton. I know Mr. how Milton. it feels. Angus is your boss's Come on. son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Holy shit, holy shit, you fucking stupid or what? Back to gun slinging, grabbing trains and banks. God damn it, this ain't a job for you. So far, you would end up dead ten times. Fucking real. Mr. Dickens? Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Three bucks again. Disturbance. Will it finally start? It started. You want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, get him. Oh, get him. Oh, kick his head in, Bob. Oh. Oh. Get that fella. Saves on hands. Get off that man! Get 
He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. Abigail. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston. You're such a pig. <laughs> 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 uh. All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Holy shit. Jim. You gotta do something to them. Find the stalls. They got home. Oh, it's over. It's rich man's fault. You. Who's this? New hand. Fight game. Oh, that tough guy they just took on. Man, I heard about you. Crap. You know. Go down. You know that offer. It just went down. Oh, man, they did not wait. Keep what the fuck is wrong with my kit? Give me the gun. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. I sold them in a minute. Saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle. Back, I sir. guess we are. 
Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? He's taking his Batman suit. Good to us. <laughs> we. I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, that's the thing over there. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! Come have a word with me! You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him! All for cows! Let me see the money first. We're gonna need money. At least I think we're gonna need money. What weapons do we got? Lancaster and Petir. That's a good one. And the other one is a shotgun. I got good weapons. It's fine. And what about. pistols all of those weapons I found with Arthur don't apply here
Ah, I cleared him fast. John looks faster than Arthur. He moves faster. Slightly faster. We worked. Uh, how much was it? Three or four days for ten bucks, and now we got ten bucks in less than ten minutes and more. Far more. So I'm gonna need every buck there is. That's why I'm doing it. Slightly more agile. Not faster. Agile. More agile. It feels smoother with him. Arthur felt like a brick.
Let's see what can we open the door. Fifty fucking bucks. Nice. One hundred bucks. That's it. That's it. Amazing inventions, electric chair. That should be all that's worth. You're the fella that said something about my wife. Duh. Piss digging, shit shoveling, oh. backwoods, shackle, no good, trash. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you. What do you got, by the way, you piece of shit? Sold off shotgun. Some people just don't know when to quit. No. It's Arthur's head.
do not just. Farmers, they just witnessed 15 men dead in less than a minute. can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Fellas? Mm. Hello? How you folks doing? How you getting on? Motherhood for idiots. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. The only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. 
Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get. Yeah. You take care now. Of course. Oh, shit, I got this throw with it now. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? It's real bumpy here. I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Ma was wrong about that. Here, want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Bye. It's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. Motherhood well, for idiots. Great area, this one around Strawberry. That's enough? For now. That game Strawberry, thank you. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. You didn't used to drive this slow. A little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to name. M my name? Um uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. 
It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Paul? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Paul. Go back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Get away from there. Okay. He up! Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Please. Give him a switch. Let's speed this up. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Fine. Pull your reins in. Yeah. Slow it down. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Huh? huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. You that stupid, goddamn you. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? Do you sure look like him? What of it? Come here, partner. We don't mean no trip. We wanted you! Oh. Yeah. I don't wanna risk it, we just kill them all. It was way too obvious. Why would I defuse? It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. 
Come on, get out. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Just to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm hmm What was it called? Mm hmm well, What was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Oh, by the Beecher's boy. Hope. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as ranch boy. Like Del can get it, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Be such a chore the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Go so say hi to your mother. What happened? Yeah, it's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. I got the Valentine. I got some money on me. Abigail. What the fuck? She left with a kid, eh? She fucking left with a kid for sure. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. 
and you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Duh. Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Time to work. Dear God, man. I think this is the last that we do on the ranch. It looks like. Long intro for John. A really long intro. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens.
Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget no. about family. <laughs> I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Go to Brazil, John. Now the Batman suit. First of all, I, I was wondering what's this. That's the first thing, since it's close by. This idiotic song, I open the door, a freaking bear inside a hut. <laughs> oh my god, what a nerd, and I was like, what is this small hut, I wanna check it out. <laughs> Fucking hell. Man, I really, really, really didn't expect a freaking bear inside.
bela ponte. This freaking bear, holy shit, you freak me out. This is this, this wasn't normal. Broke through this door, killed the owner. Man, you fucking freaked me out. Holy shit, that fucking thing freaked me out. Quick, come on. <laughs> All right, girl. <laughs> you got a clip of that, did you? <laughs> Man, it was fucking scary. Arthur's head. Man, yeah, I've been playing for a long time now. Seven hours straight. It's a beautiful animal. Thank you, Thomas. Whoa, easy. Got a donkey. Said you'd be through two days ago. What? Uh, sorry. What are you talking about? Just leave what you got in the cellar and be on your way. My guts give me hell, and I ain't in a sociable mood. What? What the? Are you again, Walker? Wheeler? I don't know. All you boys look the same these days. So long down there. Stop poking around and get back up here.
Now that's a worse mistake you could ever make. You think you can steal from me? You got no idea of the pain coming your way. I'm just gonna take what I need, lady, and then be on my way. Some advice. Turn around. Walk out of here. Get far, far away. I said, get the hell out of my house. Now, you... I need to see where this is going. I need to see where is this all shit going. This is so fucking crazy. Where she's going. You don't want to come after me. <laughs> don't tell me you run around in circles. Easily lost her. There she is. Get the hell away from me! What the fuck? That's a fast donkey. Look at grandma like Schumacher. Where are you going, Grandma? I don't know what to do, so I, I, let's say I'll keep out, you know, just to see where she's going. Who knows what you're gonna get out of it. Grandma on a donkey, out there. I remember that place over there. Valentine's should be close. Yeah. But where is she going?
You realize where the fuck are you going, grandma? I'm curious, she's gonna stop s sometime. Turning back, I'm fucking gonna shoot you.
I don't get it. There is there's some secret with this grandma. Used to be a camp here. Let's see the little rock. What was the camp? The first camp in a game. God damn it, I forgot. Heart level fields. Was it here? This is the first camp. Inspect the site. Oh, you make drawings too. Treasure maps. Appeared on the map, eh? I forgot where the first camp was. Fuck. The forest. God, I may have forgot. It's nearly 6 a.m. We're done for today. We just continue this tomorrow. What's the percentage? So this 6.9, so it's 7%. Guys, thanks for watching. I wish you all good night. It was enough for today. I'm off to bed. It's nearly 6 a.m. People, thanks for watching. See you back tomorrow.